Hey guys, today I'm going to briefly run you through my VCE art folio. Um, both these folios received A plus marks and were also accepted into Top Arts 2019. I know everybody makes their folios differently. I'll explain my thought processes and what I was thinking at the time, but not everybody's folio will look like this and that is totally fine. Everyone does it differently. So um, enjoy. At the start of Unit 3, you want to be focusing on the explore and the experiment stages of the art process. So this basically involves a lot of brainstorming, finding artistic and personal inspiration, visiting galleries, doing some sketches, and just getting some simple ideas down to start with. Um, my theme was natural beauty, so this is just some exploration of that um, from lots of different angles. Um, you want to be able to start broadly with your theme and then be able to narrow that in later on. So here you can see I've just gone ahead with some trials from an idea. I'm taking surveys, talking to people and getting outside opinions as well. Just to see things from a different perspective sometimes helps. Just go with the flow of an idea without worrying about how your follower is going to look. You definitely don't want your visual diary to look curated and like planned out. You want to show your thought processes and make mistakes and document these mistakes as well. A huge part of your folio and your mark is your annotation. And as you can see while I'm flicking through here, little colourful dots and each of these colourful dots relates to a framework. So whether that be structural, cultural, contemporary or personal, you really want to show your teacher that you're thinking about all the frameworks in what you do. So at this point in my folio, um, I had developed my earlier trials and was now starting to resolve and refine an idea for a final artwork. So you can see I've been documenting the stages in the process of making these artworks, um, playing around with presentation ideas and lastly the evaluation. So this is my final artwork for Unit 3. Without getting into it too deeply, it's basically an amalgamation of my trials and ideas that I had explored earlier, um, exploring natural beauty through a personal and quite literal sense as well. So here is my Unit 4 folio, um, very similar to Unit 3. I've decided to go on with my theme of natural beauty, but take that from a different perspective. Um, I know at some schools, some teachers let you change your theme, some people don't, so it just depends on where you are. In the last unit, I decided to explore a material that I hadn't before, which was more sculptural based. Um, so in unit four, when the time crunch is more um, constrained, I decided to go back to something that I was comfortable with, which was collage and drawing. So you can see the difference in materials here, just exploring some of those. It's also important to note that the stages of the art process in your follow don't necessarily need to follow a chronological timeline. If you decide to explore and develop something and then you want to go back and explore a related idea as well, um, that is totally fine. It shows that you're giving second thought to things and you're re-evaluating things that you've already looked at and your teachers really do like that. So don't um, feel the need to start again with things. Um, just chuck it in and keep building on what you already have. So my final artwork for Unit 4 kind of took the historical notion of the three graces and traditional beauty standards and kind of subverted that in a contemporary perspective um, using the personal and cultural framework to frame a portrait of my sister surrounded by kind of Australian natural floral elements tying together that idea of natural beauty. Just before you go, I wanted to mention folio focus. 
Portfolio Focus is a tutoring program designed for VCE art and design students looking to boost their scores in these subjects. In conjunction with great VCE teachers as well as high scoring tutors including myself, the program gives you access to an abundance of resources to help you succeed. As well as tutors on hand, our modern space in North Melbourne has large workspaces, fast Wi-Fi, access to the full Adobe suite, a professional photography studio and of course printers which you will definitely need during a folio in VCE. I'm going to link the website down below if you're interested please go and check it out. I really wish I had something like this when I was doing year 12 so go and check it out. Go give the Folio Focus Instagram page a follow as well. We have a few information sessions and open day coming up soon so if you want to keep updated give them a follow and all the information will be put up on there. If you're still watching I hope this video was helpful and if you have any more questions go follow me on Instagram, send me a DM and hopefully I can help you out. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.